What is going on guys, Joe here, and before we do start, um, I may sound a little different. I'm actually trying to recover from a little illness that I've been going through these past couple of days, um, but bear with me through this video, but I wanted to give this video out to you guys. I would have done it sooner when this was actually released over the weekend, and that is that you can now jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 8.1.1. So that's going to be including all iPhones from the 4S all the way to the 6 Plus and also iPad Mini all the way up to the iPad Air 2 and even the iPod Touch 5th generation of course. So any device that's able to run iOS 8.1.1, you'll be able to update to that and jailbreak it for those of you who are into the jailbreaking scene. So like I said, this was actually available a couple days prior to making this video, but I was recovering from my illness. I wasn't able to really speak that day, so I decided to wait it out until my voice got a little better, but as you can tell, it still hasn't gotten 100% better. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this out. If you go into your settings, you will see that I am running iOS 8.1.1, and I'll be doing this on my iPhone 6 Plus. So first off, go ahead and be sure to, as always, I cannot stress that enough, uh, go ahead and go into iTunes, plug in your device, and back it up. I already have mine backed up onto my main machine, so I'm good to go. Now, once you do that, go ahead and download Taiji, which is going to be the jailbreak tool, the new jailbreak tool. Uh, we've never heard of Taiji before until now, and Taiji is able to jailbreak iOS 8.1.1, even iOS 8.2 beta. So that means when iOS 8.2 is fully released by Apple, we may be able to jailbreak it unless if Apple patches it before the final release of 8.2. So that is very good news. But anyways, go ahead and open up Taiji. And right now the version that is available is gonna be, this is the latest version, 1.0.2. So depending when you watch this video, they may have an updated version. But go ahead and click the link down below and then it'll take you to the website. Now I did forget to mention that this is Windows only. So currently at the point of shooting this video, it is only Windows compatible, so a Mac version hopefully should be available pretty soon. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter and social media, uh, that way you'll know when that is available. And also I'll be making a video covering that, so just be sure to subscribe to the channels, that way you won't miss the video. Um, but anyways, I, I, I think my voice is kind of getting annoying, but let's go ahead and try to wrap this up. So once your device is detected on here, you will notice that it says iPhone 6 Plus right up here. Um, and then we'll have two check marks. Be sure to uncheck the second check mark. That's going to be Taiji's App Store. So we don't want that. We just want Cydia. So be sure to check Cydia. Now there's a few little steps before we actually hit the jailbreak button right down here. So we'll go onto our device and make sure that Find My iPhone is actually disabled. And also we're going to make sure our passcode is disabled as well. So go ahead and go into settings, go into iCloud. Go to find my iPhone, make sure that is disabled. I already have that disabled, so we're good to go on that part. But now we also need to go into our Touch ID, if you have a Touch ID device, or into the passcode setting. Uh, and then from there, we'll make sure we disable iPhone unlock, and then also go down and then disable or turn off passcode. So after we're done disabling our passcode slash Touch ID, and also disabling find my iPhone will be ready to go. So let's go ahead and now press this green button right here, which is gonna be the jailbreak button. And that'll be pretty much it. You just let it sit and do its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this real quick. Once your device has rebooted and also Taiji, you get that little green smiley face, meaning that it's fully completed. We can go ahead and close out Taiji. And then now we'll go over to our device and then we'll go ahead and unlock it. And we'll scroll over and then we will notice that we have Cydia now, which is a good sign. I'll go ahead and open up Cydia. Now it's gonna prepare the file system as always, and this will take a couple minutes, maybe like two minutes or so. Once Cydia has went ahead and prepared all the file systems, we'll be good to go and go ahead and open up Cydia after you unlock your device. And uh, now we get Cydia right here. So welcome to Cydia. Now we scroll down, you will notice that it says iOS 8.1.1 at the bottom. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. You're now fully jailbroken on iOS 8.1.1. As simple as that. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also go ahead and hit that like button if this tutorial helped you out. Um, and if you're excited for iOS 8.1.1 being jailbroken so soon. And as always, if you're not following me on social media, go ahead and follow me for the latest news and things like that. Um, 
at JBTech17. All the links are down below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram. I'm on all of those, but I'm majority on Twitter and Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on those social networks. Also, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos. Other than that, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.